All right guys, what's up? I'm back with another build. It's been super long since I've done an arc build and I was heavily inspired by Sneaky Beaver's video yesterday. Um, this may be posted a little later, but I'll link a video, um, his video up on the upper part of my screen. But yeah, I was really inspired by especially Tractor Cannon and Wastelander for this build since you're always up in people's faces with Assassin's Cowl. Um, it's nice to have like a mobile debuff uh, when you're dodging around, punching everything, and using your shotgun. Um, and then you can interchange your energy slot or your heavy, even if you'd like, but um, definitely interchangeable with your energy. I just really like Brigand's Law. But the overall uh, loop of this is Flow State and Lethal Current, like every other Arc Strider build. It's just super, super viable, very good with Assassin's Cal to be going invis all the time. But feel free to pause on all the fragments here as well. Um, we're using Ions resistance, feedback, and instinct. Uh, instinct is interchangeable too. Um, I just like it because when you're up in the face of all these ads getting damage constantly, it's nice to have a little bit of an extra jolt to help the loop get kind of get back uh, rolling if you ever fall out of it for whatever reason. But the main fragments you're gonna want are feedback, resistance, and ions. Um, ions is just good for ability regen, uh, resistance of course since you're up in the face of adds all the time punching it's nice to have some resistance and uh, 10 extra strength. Um, as you can see my stats aren't super good but they're, I tried to make them just well rounded because it just is e more easily accessible for uh, newer players who are looking to get into the game. Um, but yeah obviously if you're mid-max your gear this will be even better. And then I also have spark of feedback which is just nice for um, when you take melee damage, you get <laughs> better melee damage out, out, uh, output. So if you get stomped by a boss or something, you're going to have even more melee damage when you get your flow state going again. And then, yeah, 10 resilience is also really nice. But as for the mods, we are using uh, all resilience mods. And then I've got uh, ashes to assets and then double hands-on for extra super energy on melee kills since, obviously, you're killing everything with your melee May as well be getting super energy back for it. And if, and also, if you need to use your grenade, it's nice to get super energy for that too. And then I've got firepower, heavy-handed, and another firepower. Um, these are just all for orbs. And then we've got whatever, um, whatever damage resist mods you'd like. And then I run double recuperation because I find when I'm making a lot of orbs, it's nice to have some quick health if I ever need it, um, even though um, your melee can regen health for you. And then I also have a kinetic weapon surge for a wastelander um, because when you get one two punch rolling, it's really nice to um, have a little bit of extra kick and a little bit of extra punch on your shotgun, as you'll see in the gameplay as well. And then I've got Reaper but, uh, and Double Bomber and then a Resilience Forged on my Artifice Cloak. But yeah, guys, um, this is a super fun build. Wastelander is super fun. You can get it from Dares of Eternity. And I've got slide shot and one two punch, as I was saying before, and boss spec, but uh, whatever mod you'd like, of course. I actually kind of recommend backup meg for this, but um, one two punch is definitely the main perk you're going to want to look for on your shotgun. And then tractor cannon is nice for the mobile debuff. And in the specific boss sector I was running, um, same as sneaky beaver, you're able to stun the overloads with it and get even more damage uh, output out of it, and you can just absolutely melt the champions with it. So, yeah, guys. Super fun build, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Peace. So this clip here was my very first Shadow Throne solo completion and this build absolutely annihilated the entire dungeon. As you can see I'm getting absolutely wrecked here and then one melee and I've got all my health back. I'm invis, I get time to set up my next shot and then I absolutely melt Duel Karu here. And yeah guys, super super viable in dungeons as well.